There are five bags I own that have been in heavy rotation this entire year. And the five might actually shock you. If that's your jam, be sure to like and subscribe. And let's dive into this list. So I will tell you this, the five that have been in heavy rotation this year differ very much from last year. And I'm first going to start with one of my new acquisitions. So if you remember me, if you follow me for a long time ago, you know that orange is still my favorite color. It still somewhat is along with green. It's kind of hard for me to choose. I go back and forth, but this bag, which I have not shown you, please excuse my nails. I need to redo them actually. <laughs> this mischief bag, and it is the global supply chain telephone bag. I think I got that right. And it's in this very vibrant orange. I absolutely love it. It's so structured, it's so quirky, it's so edgy, it's so me, everything about it. And believe it or not, it's easy to wear, even though I wear a lot of color. Like even with this green I have on now, I would wear this. I mean, I just would, it's just me, okay? It just goes with more than I thought it would. And it draws a lot of attention. Some people We'll call it the Frankenstein bag. I don't really like that because I associate Frankenstein with ugly and this bag is not ugly. I mean, a lot of you may disagree with me, but <laughs> there's nothing ugly about it. It's different, it's unique. And to me, that's not ugly. It's not Frankenstein. So I don't really like that, but there's neither here nor there. I love her, so happy with it. And the price point, I think they're actually thinking of relaunching these again. And they sold out the first time. I don't know if it was due to hype, if they had limited quantities and they sold out or if they really sold out because a lot of people bought them. But I don't really see a lot of people with them. So I'm like, who bought them? But yeah, I love it. Great price point under a thousand dollars. Like for leather, that's like unheard of. And if you don't know the history, they basically missed four different designers to make this bag. Hermes, Balenciaga, Dior, and one other one. Celine maybe? Somebody. Okay. I love it. Comes in five colors now because they're now coming out with a white one. Next is actually a dupe. So y'all know I do freelance work or gig work on the side. I do do Instacart and I've really been loving these belt bags. So it may look familiar because it is a nice high quality dupe for the Bottega belt bag. Bottega Veneta belt bag. Except without the price point. Okay, this is going normal. It comes with a chain. I just took that out because it's gonna make noise while I talk and that's not cool. So it does come with a chain strap that's detachable, obviously. I don't really use that though. And it comes like this. It comes with a magnetic closure that is very much heavy duty. Like, oh, trying to hide my nail. The magnet on these bags are amazing. So the one I'm showing you here is the green one. I have a black one too that's very much worn and I love wearing these, I mean, I had a belt bag on my list for a long time from Bottega Veneta, but I never got it because I feel like the price is like too crazy, too outrageous. And also they have dupes like this that are genuine leather. So I'll link where I got these down below, but they come in so many different colors. This green is to die for. I'm biased because I love green. Also what I love about it, it comes with this detachable card holder or whatever you want to call it, like wallet but it's like a really long card holder. You can put cards, bills, receipts, and they have like little snaps in here that they that this attaches to. I think, I don't know if the one from Bottega is removable like this, but I love that feature. And obviously, you know, nothing's on interior, no type of labels or anything. It's truly a dupe, but the leather is um, genuine. I was about to say authentic. <laughs> Let's not use that word here. But I also love this too, because I can convert it to a shoulder bag because you can easily take this strap in and out. Again, I don't know if that's a Bottega Veneta feature as well, or if it's just a feature of the dupe, I'm loving it. But I mostly wear as a crossbody, and sometimes I'll change the strap and put it inside this, these two, to make it a belt bag. Either way, it's still chic, super cute, very versatile. I love it, and I love it so much. I have another color on the way. And for being under 50 bucks, I think, you can't beat it. I mean, you can't beat it. It's very understated, quiet. People think they know, but they don't know a damn thing. Okay, <laughs> moving on. So with the next bag, I actually got this from Barcelona last year. I was about to say last summer. I think it was kind of summer, August? Do we go in August? I don't even know. Man, time flies. Okay, so this is my Montresor bucket bag from Fendi. I love the multicolor and how neutral it is. So it tends to go with a lot of things I wear, even since, so, you know, I'm wearing green right now. It still complements this quite nicely, in my opinion. I love the taupe. Taupe is one color bag that I have on my itch to scratch as far as bags to get. I've never owned a taupe bag, and this is such a perfect shade of taupe. It's one reason why I like it. I think the taupe bag I want is uh, possibly Loewe Mini Puzzle. 
I don't know if that even comes in this color, but I think that'll be really cute. If you know of any cute tote bags, let me know in the comments. I need to take a look because I want one so bad. But anyway, back to this. So it holds everything I needed to. I have the, the dust bag and the strap tucked in here, which is probably giving some of y'all anxiety, but the strap isn't ruined by me doing that. I'm careful, okay? But you can hold a lot in here. It also comes with this cute and chic top handle kind of strap here, which I love as well. It's so cute. It's so chic. It holds everything I needed to. There's nothing understated about it. It's the polar opposite of what I just showed you. But I just love the colors that this one has. It has nice baby pink, brown, white, um, taupe to complement this. Gold hardware. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. I love everything about it. Next we have on the list is actually my Palm Springs Mini from Louis Vuitton. And I'm actually, me and my daughter are taking another mommy and me adventure. So it's currently packed right now and I do not want to move it because if I take it out, I'm gonna forget it. And it goes with a couple of the looks I'm gonna wear. I'm gonna be really pissed. So we're actually leaving at three in the morning. So I don't want to move it. But just to let you know, it's another one of my, it's actually number three on my list for one of my most worn bags this year. I mean, the way it can be converted to a backpack, back to a crossbody, back to a shoulder bag, super versatile, even a belt bag if you want it, but I've never worn it in that way. But it holds everything I needed to. I can stuff it out, hold my essentials and hold a lot of my daughter's essentials. That's another reason why I'm traveling with it because it's so good, so, so good. And also the reverse monogram, I feel is super unique. I believe this one is discontinued, but you can still find find it pre-loved. And as always, links to all of these bags down in the description. If I find some good ones pre-loved, I will link them. I just love it. I just love it. Oh. My love for it has not changed. I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Also, if you're enjoying this video, be sure to like and subscribe. You don't want to miss anything I post. I post every Monday and Thursday, slowly getting back to that schedule. I know I've been kind of, you know, not sticking to that and I apologize, but life has been life and mom has been momming. And yeah, I'm trying my best and I will get back to it ASAP. So be sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos. Number four, I have another dupe. And then last, we're going to end with a designer. So don't worry. This is another dupe. This is a dupe for the mini Jody. And this, I was actually put on to by Jernica Masia. I was put on to these by her. This actually, I believe it came from Marshalls, either Marshalls or TJ Maxx, but you know, they're the same, basically. These dupes, and I believe if I'm not mistaken, these are genuine leather. They're not, they certainly feel like it. So the brand actually is Urban Expressions. If you want to look at it online, when I tell you these are amazing, I have them in two colors. I also have um, a purple one, like a lavender one. I'm trying to show you the label, but it didn't work out. There we go. Urban Expressions, okay. If that focuses properly, do you want to Google it? Great price. I believe they were 30 or 40 bucks. Maybe, probably 30, I think. Very roomy interior. It gives me mini Jody vibes, okay. Obviously, that's what they were going after. But I feel like this one's more roomy. And I've owned too many Jodies, both of which are gone, because I feel like if I can find a good dupe, there's no point in me getting a real one. I know quality, 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 but the quality of this one is good enough for me. I mean, it's quiet. doesn't have logo all over it. That's a bag I wouldn't do a dupe for, like, personally like for Louis Vuitton or Fendi or Gucci. I would not do dupes for those just because they're logo heavy and it can look fake real quick. But I feel like with this, you know, because it's flat at the bottom, but it's not so obvious, you know? And you still get the same look for less, IMO. So I said I had five, I actually have six. I never get the number right, but this is also another most worn. And it's from Ferragamo. And I got this cute baby on sale. So that makes it all the better, all the better, all the merrier. Silver hardware is this gorgeous salmon color. That's what I call her, so cute. And I do have a bag insert in here. Um, comes with a longer strap as well. This gives me Birkin vibes without the high price point. It's so roomy inside. Like if I take the insert out, look at that. And it's all leather. Like they're gonna, they know what to do when it comes to designer bags, okay? And they make some nice ones. I have two. Why do I feel like I've had to be from Fair I think I'm going to have bad. I don't know, right? <laughs> I think I have two and I have plenty of others on my wish list, but I love this so much. It gives me what I needed to give. And also it's very quiet luxury. There's a tiny little Salvatore Ferragamo logo here. And other than that, I mean, you can't tell it's Ferragamo unless you know the design, which most people do know the Gancini. Oh my God, if I'm pronouncing that wrong, don't come for me, okay? At least I'm acknowledging it. And I don't know. It's green leather and then it's lined with smooth leather. You very rarely find, in my opinion, well, I mean, it's true, a full leather bag 
under a certain price point and this still falls under that and it comes in so many different colors so many different neutrals this is the i don't think i told y'all the name of the bag it's the studio box mini but they also make the studio box in a bigger size too possibly even two sizes there's a huge one and then there's another one i don't know i'll link some for you so you can check them out but i highly recommend this bag it's one of my favorites great color too i wouldn't necessarily wear it with this green believe it or not but it goes with a lot it goes with neutrals if you want to add a slight pop of color but you don't want it to be too in your face Yes. What are y'all's most worn bags of 2024? I'm curious to hear your picks. And what do you think about my list? Do you think I should be wearing others more or less? Let me know. And don't forget to like and subscribe so you don't miss any of my future content. And I did share my most worn fine jewelry picks. And I will see you over on that one.